Today on our Comic Quick Fix mini episode, I want to tell you about the Weird Love hardcover that just came out. What is Weird Love? Well, once upon a time in the 50s, uh, superhero comics were not the top selling titles. Uh, romance comics was one of the top selling genres. And Weird Love is a collection of the weirdest, most bizarre fucking romance comics from that era, from the 50s, 60s, and the 70s. And there were thousands of romance comics printed in that era. And the comics that are featured in Weird Love are hand-picked, and they are the best of the weirdest romance comics you will ever come across. Titles like I Fell for a Commie, Too Fat for Love, I mean, I was an escort girl. And the thing about these is, is that it just presents this really fucked up morality that they had back then. I mean, it's like little girls were reading this and they were essentially being told to just like marry a man after meeting him in a night. Like, it's just like the most bizarre shit you've ever seen. It's so funny. You can't guess the endings for half of these, you know, because it's just like so far from our own morality these days. In other words, the comics featured in here are really unpolitically correct, okay? This shit would not fly today at all. People would be super bummed if girls were reading this. Uh, but for me, it's hilarious. You cannot have a better time than reading these. This book makes me feel good because it shows me where we've been in the past and how, like, how much we've progressed as a society with our treatment towards women. <laughs> so there's that whole aspect of it. And I love Weird Love so much that I put it on my top 10 best comics of the year last year. I found this comic uh, and it instantly became like my favorite thing to pick up every month. I would like to uh, just do a reading of one of the comics from issue number six. Uh, and I'm gonna do all the voice acting for it. What's this one called? This one was called, I was a child bride. All right. So. <clears throat> There wasn't a happier bride in town than me, Mrs. Frank Jordan. Yes, I had everything. A wonderful husband, our own cute apartment, and understanding parents who were crazy about Frank. Frank's lucky to have your father as his manager in the store. And how? Dad says it won't be long before he'll teach Frank enough to be assistant manager, and that'll mean a big raise. I wish I could stop in now to see them, but I have to rush home and make dinner. You're late, baby. I dropped in to say hello and thought I'd start dinner for you because it isn't right to make Frank wait. But I can't find any meat. I don't have time to market after the movies with the girls, Mom. But I'll open a can of something. You're not being fair to your husband, Lucy. He deserves a home cooked meal after working hard all day. And your father tells me he is working hard. Frank's a fine boy and he should... Mother... I can manage my own affairs, thank you. After all, we've been married almost three months, so I think I know how to handle my husband. Don't be angry, baby. After all, you're only 17, and a mother's advice can be helpful. You know you've always welcomed it. I'm sorry I was snappy. It's just that I'm so anxious waiting for Frank to become Dad's assistant and get that raise, so we... Hi, girls. The sound of Frank's voice sent happiness racing through me. This was the high spot of each day when my husband came home. I hardly heard Mom leave, and I completely forgot our conversation until... Mom scolded me because I didn't have time to cook you a seven-course dinner, but you don't mind, do you, darling? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. Your mother is right, Lucy. This is the third time this week you've come too late to prepare a decent meal. You're both against me. The way you talk, I sound like a child playing house, and all account of a silly can of tuna fish. It's not just the tuna fish. It's... Lucy, darling, please don't cry. If only I had realized then that my childish outburst was wrong, terribly wrong. But this was the first time Frank had actually criticized me, and it hurt. My poor little sweetheart. I'm so sorry for what I said. I thought our marriage was different. And then you take mother's part against me, your own wife? Oh, Frank, how could you? All day I've dreamed of coming home to you, holding you in my arms. Me too. Did you really think of me all day? Every minute of every hour. The thought of you is what keeps me plugging when your father drives me so hard. By the way, honey, he thinks I might get that new job next month. Why didn't you tell me that the minute you came in? When you're the assistant manager, I know you'll make Dad proud of you. What's the matter? You look so angry. Is that all my promotion means to you? Something for your father to be proud of? 
The mysterious change in Frank began that night and continued for weeks. He was no longer the lovable man I had married, but a sullen and irritable old grouch. One Sunday, as we drove to my folks' home for dinner, Frank, it's bad enough that you're shutting me out of your life without saying why. At least try to be nicer to the folks today. Mom roasted a turkey just for you. For heaven's sakes, can't I be myself one day a week after slaving at the store the other six days? No matter what I do down there, I can't satisfy your father. This can't go on, Frank. We're drifting further and further apart. Can't we be honest with each other and discuss things? Okay, Lucy, you asked for it. I'm tired of having you think first and last of your parents. You're grown up now, married to me. It's time you realized it, and your folks too. Mom and Dad are only trying to help us. They want us to be happy. You're the one who's being childish. Skip it for now. We'll talk about it when we get home. My heart was heavy as I tried desperately to pretend to my folks that nothing had happened, that the world wasn't crashing down around my spinning head, but they knew something was wrong. The old friendliness between them and Frank was gone. I'm glad you're here today, Frank. I've wanted to talk to you about the store. You're disappointing me, son. The way you're no longer trying. I need some help in the kitchen, Lucy dear. Wonderful, Mom. She knows it's I who needs her help. Oh, Mom, I'm so mixed up. Something is happening to Frank, to us, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do. All young brides feel like this sooner or later. Don't worry too much, baby. Try to talk things out with Frank, and you'll find it'll all clear up. But for once, my mother's soothing words failed to comfort me. Heartsick, I asked Frank to take me home before we had finished. Neither of us had spoken until, let's get it over, Frank. Where shall we begin? Lucy, my dearest, there's no beginning, and there isn't going to be any end, because the only thing that matters to me in the whole world is you. That stone-cold wall between us, it's made me crazy. I couldn't think straight, couldn't keep my mind on my job. It's all my fault. Oh, Frank, darling, hold me close. I've missed you so. The bliss of those next few seconds, with my husband's heart against mine, the balm of his whispered words of love healing all past wounds. Then suddenly, these past weeks were a nightmare, dearest, but they're over. And now I know you'll try hard again at the store. Lucy, I should try harder so your father won't be disappointed? Can't you ever forget your parents? You're not my wife. You're still their little girl. Even in my arms, you schemed to... Lucy, are you home? It's Mom and Dad. They're downstairs. Please, please, Frank, don't let them know. I will let them know everything. I lived a lifetime of agony in the few seconds it took my parents to walk up that short flight of stairs. In a trance, I felt Frank's strong arms scoop me up and carry me across the room. Put me down, you brute! Put me down! That's Lucy's voice. I had a feeling something was wrong. We're coming, baby! This wasn't happening to me. It couldn't be. Was Frank insane? Were those arms which gripped me furiously the same arms which had held me so tenderly? Oh, my poor little girl. Lucy, baby, are you hurt? Here's your baby. She's perfectly okay. She just needs some sense knocked into her. Who's going to spank her, you or I? You leave my child alone, you monster. Dad, Mom, help! This is one time Mom and Dad can't help you. Like a trapped animal, I kicked and clawed to escape that humiliating hand raised over me. I was choked with loathing for my husband as I lay trembling across his knees, and I looked up into his eyes. Why, why, you're crying, and you love me. It's written all over your face. You're doing this crazy thing because you love me. Yes, and that's why I can't go through with it. I cut off my arm before I'd give you one second's pain. Lucy, oh my dearest, can you ever forgive me? I'm the one who begs your forgiveness. I've been a fool, a child who needed to grow up. Lucy, my dear. No, dear, don't interfere. We've been wrong, too. Continuing to treat her like a little girl when it's time we left her alone with her husband. You're right, Sarah. My worries about Frank at the store are over now, too. Our little girl, I mean, his wife, is all the incentive he needs. There's so much I want to say to you, darling, but you said it all once. The only thing in the world that matters to me is you. The end. You like them apples? Where that came from? In Weird Love. And big shout out to Clesia and Craig Yo. Uh, Craig Yo has been described as the Indiana Jones of comic historians. These two go through 
thousands of these comics and they read all of them just to find the weirdest ones just for you. That is quite a task and I'm so glad that they're out there doing this work for us because I certainly appreciate it. And I feel very honored to have been asked to write an introduction for Weird Love, so I'm totally in there. And I am doing a giveaway. What are you giving away? And I've got three copies to give away in our caption this contest. So get excited, people. Get your wit going. What is the caption this contest? Well, we are going to post this cover on our Facebook page and the three best captions that people come up with are going to win their very own free copy of Weird Love. This is only open to US residents because you guys international, I cannot afford the shipping for that shit. So, and if you wanna enter our Weird Love contest, check out the description below to find out all the details on when we're gonna be posting this and what everything you need to know.